whenever we add more words to whatever we're trying to say, it doesn't come off as confident. So we can remove a lot of words and just state our point and wait for the other to ask if they want us to elaborate. My name is Ariel New. I am a creator and speaker. I share stories and examples on how to live and connect consciously. So how I awakened to this whole cycle and pattern I was in was I realized it seemed to be very energy intensive and challenging whenever I needed to sell an idea to someone especially or pitch something to someone or just convince someone of something. I would not be actually clear in what is my actual intention? Like, what do I actually want to see from this outcome, from this person I'm talking to and from myself? Like, what do I actually want to get? Instead, I would be focusing on, I need them to believe in me and not even thinking about what I'm trying to get them to believe in. And I started to realize whenever I am saying a lot for something that is quite simple, two things. Number one, I haven't thought it through clearly. Like I said earlier, I didn't really set my own goal and intention, especially when I'm with another person interacting. I didn't take the time to really plan out what is my actual goal here? What is my intention? And do I know what I'm saying and what I'm selling? Number two is I don't really believe in myself because the thing is, there are many times when I'm talking to people, especially when I'm just casually talking to friends or family, whoever I'm comfortable with. And when I really believe in something, it's easy for me to prove my point. And I don't really care if you believe in it or not, but I will say what my truth and what I believe in very clearly and very short because it's obvious, I, I just know it. I realized the answer really is just taking pauses, taking time and space before every interaction, before every speech, before every action. I need to focus on me. Going into these situations, I care about you in the sense of like, I'm gonna try to gauge your energy and try to align my energy more to whatever you're feeling right now. And I'm also going to take the time to understand you, especially if I'm trying to pitch something to you, just trying to sell something to you. I want to get to know you because I want this to be of advantage for you too, right? Like it has to be symbiotic. So I will put some thought into that. But when I'm actually going into it, I'm thinking about what is my goal here right now? Like instead of the means of like, okay, I'm going in here. I need them to be like looking at me. I need them to be like listening to me. I need them to be feeling me. And I'm very conscious of that. If I'm focusing on that, then I'm going to lose what I'm actually presenting, right? So nothing about, I'm not going to focus on your reactions when I'm in the live situation. I'm going to go in. Actually, before I even go in, I'm going to first review. Okay, what do I want to get from this situation? What is the outcome? Going into it, what do I want the end result to be? What do I want from them? Okay. And I think straight to the end, not even like about this interaction, like what is my end goal here? What do I actually want from that, this interaction? And once I know this clearly, then I'm like, okay, do I really believe in it? Am I ready to present? Do I, am I ready to speak to it? How do I feel about it? When we're actually committed to learning and evolving, we got to be more conscious in the beginning. We got to put some conscious effort and it might be uncomfortable. It might be more energy intensive, but that is the way. And if we start to commit to it, we to be very intentional and conscious of every single moment that I'm about to enter, it gets easier. And the more I do it, it becomes more and more natural and more effortless. So I hope my story was helpful and I hope it added some insight to this TikTok and reel I just posted. And if you have any questions, I will try to address in the comments as well. Remember guys, always stay true to you. Always stay true to you from you to you. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.